Good morning, folks. We've got a lot to cover today, including solar storm risks and earthquakes. Right now, we're watching that incoming sunspot group, silent so far, decaying slightly. So let's go to spaceweathernews.com and find the last 24 hours on our star, very calm. Dark coronal hole up north, that quiet and decaying active region bright on the north behind it. Remember yesterday we said goodbye to that plasma filament on the south? Well, not so much just yet. Up on its tiptoes, reaching as high as possible as it crosses the limb and fountaining back down. Just the vertical filament itself was six to eight Earths long at the apex before fountaining. Looking next to the solar wind, top line density had a slight rise the last day that now gives way to slightly faster streams, middle panel, heading up on the right side. But not even hitting 400 kilometers per second yet, and this is from the weak coronal hole turning through on the south. Geomagnetism remains very quiet, but we will keep an eye on the plasma speed today just in case a ramp up is waiting somewhere in the stream. Looking to the lithosphere, Hawaii with yet another 5.3 volcanic eruption yesterday. They are coming like clockwork and relatively stable in the low magnitude 5 range. Meanwhile, in Bali there is a 2 kilometer high ash cloud from a Gung's latest eruption. Most people are far away from the mountain at this point, but this is only an appetizer of what it's capable of doing. Let's look at GOES 16's lightning shots from last night of the United States. There was one feature of note, a perfect curve tracking eastward across the U.S.-Canada border. This was driven by a convergence line of storms heading into the Canadian low, equalizing air pressure and other characteristics as winds collide along the line. Folks, it is a legitimate question to ask why fracking in Oklahoma produces more induced earthquakes than anywhere else in the world when they are fracking everywhere. It's because of deep faults previously unknown and newly discovered thanks to deep magnetic map surveying, which we're going to see again for a completely different reason in a moment. But first, we've got organic material on Ceres in abundance. This complements the water and probable salty compounds we see on the largest asteroid belt object. Very fun sphere. Next, we're using the ESO zoom in towards the center of the galaxy to pick out just one star. In a combined effort of the ESO and ALMA, independent teams have used the best of such technology on Earth to determine that a relatively new and young star has even younger planets around it, a trio of them. The rings in the disk and large flow kinks are telltale signs of planets being there and both teams came to the same conclusions. Now, Bloomberg Quint, Bloomberg's Indian offshoot with Quintillion, is reporting that the USGS will soon release a study suggesting that New England down to Washington, D.C. is at extreme risk from solar storms. This is not just about New England being at a treacherous geomagnetic latitude compared to, say, Birmingham, Alabama, but about the rocks below. An insulative feature of the rocks there, they say, is where the risk lies. It will either bounce the energy back up or concentrate it into more conductive pathways, putting every transformer and nearly 100 million people at risk. Now, I'm really glad last September's biggest CME missed Earth, and I'm only wondering why it took the Indian version of Bloomberg to give us this story. Speaking of misses, in what might be the biggest dark matter fail ever, an Earth-sized detector using atomic clocks across the entire planet found absolutely no evidence of dark matter interaction. While cosmological observations in defiance of dark matter are at the galactic scale, this is an actual detector experiment, like the one-ton xenon experiment just scaled up using the whole planet. He's either epic at hide-and-seek, or he just isn't there. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close. We greatly appreciate your support, and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's 4.40 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.